Okay, in this video I'm going to look at how to determine equivalent hydrogens, in specific as it relates to free radical halogenation, but this is also going to become important when we start talking about NMR and spectroscopy. So let's look at a particular compound and try to figure out how many sets of equivalent hydrogens it has. So here's the compound I want to look at. 2-methyl butane. As we look at this compound, we can see that we have hydrogens in multiple locations. We've got three hydrogens here, two hydrogens here, a single hydrogen here, that one's easy to forget about, and three hydrogens on this methyl group, and last but certainly not least, three hydrogens on this methyl group. How do we determine if any of those sets of our hydrogens are equivalent? The best way to do it is to actually replace it, replace that hydrogen with a halogen and see if you get the same name. So what I mean by that is, let's take one of the red hydrogens and replace it with a chlorine. All right, so we've taken one of those hydrogens off. We've replaced it with a chlorine, as you would do in free radical halogenation. And this is the compound that it looks like. Now, the name for this one is now 1-chloro-3-methyl-butane. If we replaced any of the hydrogens at that location, any of the red hydrogens with a chlorine atom, you would always get 1-chloro-3-methyl-butane. Let's replace one of the yellow ones. Now we get 2-chloro-3-methylbutane. If we replaced any of the hydrogens at that location with a chlorine group, we would also get 2-chloro-3-methylbutane. So now we have two sets of equivalent hydrogens. The red is non-equivalent with the yellow. What happens if we replace that green one? Obviously, we are only going to get one possible compound from it because there's only one possible hydrogen at that location. Now it is 2-chloro-2-methylbutane. Let's replace one of the blue hydrogens with a chlorine atom. The name for this guy, 1-chloro-2-methylbutane. And 1-chloro-2-methylbutane. And last but not least, let's look at that purple one. When we look and we see what this compound's name is, it is also 1-chloro-2-methylbutane. It is the same compound as the one from when we replace one of the blue hydrogens with a chlorine. 1 chloro 2 methyl butane. From this analysis, the purple hydrogens are equivalent to the blue hydrogens because we get the same compound when we take one of the hydrogens off and replace it with a halogen group. So this 2 methyl butane has 1. Two, three, four sets of equivalent hydrogens.
So in free radical halogenation with a chlorine or a bromine, we would suspect that we would get four different products. And of course, they're going to be in different amounts based on chlorine or bromine and chlorine and bromine selectivity during free radical halogenation.